They say wisdom comes with age. But as I get older, I've begun to feel the opposite is true. It's not that I know less, per se. Although the pace at which I learn is certainly slowing. It's more that, as a child, I saw more and experienced more. Everything was new. I reveled in tastes. Colors prickled my senses. All sensory input made me feel richer. As I grew older, my world narrowed. Precise moods that I used to know in the past, I couldn't even begin to recall now. What brought me to this point? I don't know. I can no longer feel the purpose, the object, the sensation. Back then it was the journey that amazed me. Today, I'm pleased enough by simple arrivals. And I have arrived. This is Syriad, the home of the project, the floating fortress. Our story will end here. Akita Dryad, recording. This is the last circle. The Prophet Enki has seen nothing further for our nation. Whatever the Empire is up to, we will do everything in our power to try and prevent it. If all goes well, Linthus should be working to distract the Empire during their victory parade. We will make our stand. There are only two of us now. All other Enkis are dead or slaves of the project. We cannot save them. There's simply nothing to be done. The book does not have our names written. Either both of us die or whatever may be. Recording pause.
frequency shutdown. Life functions have ceased in all blocks. No! How stable can history be when you can travel through time? The only thing you can count on is the state of the present moment, the status quo. According to the current state of things, on the day I killed my father, the terrorist in our registry, under the name of Akita Driad, extinguished her own nation and vanished into time without a trace. So perfectly without a trace, one could presume she landed somewhere past the time continuum. I have no hope of ever saving my father, and the only one I could hope to seek revenge upon would be myself. All I'm left with is a sour irony. Driad would perhaps tell the story with greater indifference than I do. It took me a long time to notice it. Her time and trials are not yet over, but she certainly paid her dues for her country. The sensors on Syria had recorded an intrusion of two foreign beings that day. Deep analysis of the sequence of events that caused her to obliterate her people has become a matter of imperial interest, since the key to Lael's power and riches lies with the project. But that's a different story for another time.